Hello, hello everybody, it's Bob Brachoff and we're back again with another Warhammer reaction. This is a video by Crackduck, the fall of Cadia explained. Okay, I know about Cadia, I know it blew up, I know it fell, the world fell before the guardsman or something. What happened exactly? Let's find out, okay? Video. Let's get started. Okay, brother, let's go. So for go. context, Cadia is, um, yeah. was... <laughs> One of the most Oops. important fortress worlds in the whole Imperium. It was extremely Is that important how it actually due to its proximity to the Eye of Terror. Wow, wow. Katie was on the only passable route One in continent? or out of the Eye of Terror. Because of this, Katie became a crucial line of defense in an area mm. known as the Cadian Gate. This gate kept the force of the Cadian. Imagine living there and the sun looks at you every time. Every your whole life, the sun has just a big ass eye looking at you. Bay and prevented a catastrophic bay, the sun looks at you. Another significant feature of Cadia were the, the Cadian pylons. These pylons were large pylons? black stone obelisks that were made by the Necrons to weaken psychic oh. energies during the Did War of Heaven. Luckily for the Cadians, the Necrons were kind of litter bugs, and they just left their anti magic litter pylons bugs. all over the place. And the pylons' anti magic properties conveniently they couldn't replicate these. Helped I guess the not. Eye of terror warp energies back and kept the area mm. manageable. Due to the strategic importance of Cadia, has long been a target of attack from the force of chaos. Makes sense. And at first, the Cadians were ill-equipped to handle the constant assaults, so they had to reform their world and culture. Cadians reformed their society and culture in order to better prepare to deal with the constant barrage of chaos forces, knocking on their door, asking if they'd like to hear a word about their <laughs> lord and savior, four-way Satan. Hey, yo, somebody's already coming, I One see. One such reform is that their society became heavily militarized. Makes sense. Even by 40 case standards. This is kind of the same with nowadays some nations that are surrounded by uh, people that want to take the land are like this. About 72% of the population is under I mean, look at the Koreas. Right? It's almost as much as Texas. Uh, the Cadian children are taught to strip, assemble, and shoot firearms before learning to read. Also like Texas. Even the civilian aspects of Is that Cadia what happens in Texas? All the houses are heavily... By the way, we had this thing in Bulgaria. Um, so my parents used to have uh, like a military class when they were in middle school. Before that, I don't know what you call mil before that in English. Armored, everyone is they would actually go into their case and shit. Are dependent on we didn't have that rank. when I was growing up. The normal up, civilian clothes yeah. are even camouflage and military ass. Makes sense. Closer which, to what again, is much like Texas. But this prevalent military <laughs> culture is very is important like because that? it helps make Cadians some of the best warriors in the galaxy. Mm. And in addition to societal reforms, Cadians have also reformed the way they built their cities. <laughs> in the center of each city, there's a mighty fortress called the Khazar. And yes, Khazar? this is where the Khazar can come from. Yes, Khazar can number one! And each Khazar was extremely well defended and designed to hold out against invaders for a oh, very like a long time. It's like a little bunker. Generally, a Khazar had a but void shield, a and bunker. then a perimeter with many gun emplacements, and then a moat, and then a hefty wall and oh, fortified... Listen, every defense needs a moat. And if you can, you have like 16 moats. Gate, and then past the that, more mode, the better in mode. the city streets of the Khazar. But, wait right there, would-be invaders. The defenses aren't done yet. Once you finally make it inside the Khazars, there's even more Close defensive there. measures. On top of the usual stuff like gun emplacements and planetary defense troops, the Khazar streets are intentionally designed to be confusing to invaders. Mm, the city layout is made smart. in complex geometric patterns, which, yeah, means the Cadians basically live in the little puzzles you get at the Applebee's kids' menus. But oh, I hate those puzzles. The puzzling layout isn't just because the city planners were too busy killing demons and being the best regiment around. It was actually intentionally done to give Cadians an extra advantage in defenses. Mm, that's smart. Uh, the Cadians excel in urban combat, so the confusing layout and heavily defended buildings help them hold out Khazars for yeah. far longer than a normal city. <laughs> and these staunch defenses, they might seem like overkill and... If you Is think it an overkill? They live by a teleporter to chaos or some shit, one, right? Clearly, aren't familiar. How would that be an overkill? Because overkill is its middle name. And two, you clearly weren't paying attention True. earlier because you must have forgotten that Cadians live on the border of literal actual hell. And yeah. These insane defense to the military. Where's culture, the hell? Along with the Cadian pylons, were extremely well, important kill. because it allowed the Cadians to reject Abaddon's advances for the twelve days of Christmas. I mean, twelve Black Crusades. And on the twelve. Wait, survive the twelve crusades. Like twelve crusades. My true foe sent to me twelve black crusades, eleven black crusades, ten black crusades. Yeah, that's right. The war master of chaos, <laughs> commander are. of the forces of evil and all things nasty. It took him thirteen tries to take over one planet. Damn. <laughs> Is, why is he throwing hands? Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, he threw hands. Try. And I know his that hand more each crusade weakened the Imperial forces and technically accomplished one step of Abby's grand plan. But still, the alpha male that's influencers on YouTube tell me that there's only times, like right? five steps to become uh, It's uh, the, the, the dude that's currently in jail in Romania, right? What was the name? millionaire overnight. So surely the Master of Chaos can condense it just a little bit. The but now, guy. let's talk about the 13th Black Crusade and finally get into the fall of Cadia. Okay. After what, 12 how Crusades, Abaddon finally took off that his sweatshirt and declared, This is no longer a circus. Oh, this is for serious. 
and the 13th Black Crusade kicked off when a bunch of Space Hulk started showing up across the Cadian sector along with a bunch of Chaos battleships. Uh -huh. And leading this Vanguard assault was Typhus of the Death Guard. Typhus is plagued fleet. The big boy! It was causing terror across the sector, That's and horrible. this caused radical cults to form. These cults declared that the Chaos attacks were actually the Emperor punishing them for their sins, and the newfound cults were creating unrest, which led to many rebels against the Imperium. Ah, shit. And this political unrest also Good. allowed a preacher to rise uh, uh, in prominence sinner. as he proclaimed himself the voice of the Emperor, which further turned one- You're the voice of the Emperor? Huh? Loyal Imperials traitor. Across the sector, there are Chaos forces attacking Imperial worlds, and along with the rebellions, things were looking dire for the Imperial forces. However, despite all this, the planet Acadia remained steadfast against nice. the assault. The pylons and Acadian shock troopers were going insano style, holding back the forces of the warp. <laughs> However, due to worsening conditions, the Acadian High Command ordered all Acadian regiments to reconvene on their home world. One of the returning regiments Damn. was the Volscani Cataphracts. The Cataphracts are revered across the I don't know if this is their actual scheme sector as they were made up of many hardened dope, veterans and had many is. accolades. In order to show their gratitude for the cataphracts return, Cadian leadership prepared a welcome party so they could meet them in person. Did they However, kill them the cataphracts did a little bit of trolling on arrival and they switched teams, spawn killing the majority of Cadian High Command before the real battle could even begin. All would have been lost if not for the absolute chat that all is traitors? Lord and Ursicar Creed. Creed Ursicar commanded Creed. a masterful counterattack that pushed back the traitors and allowed nice. the to regroup their defenses. And due to this Bro, why are there so many traitors? Traitors, God damn it. Rogues, Creed would be promoted to governor of Cadia, chaos. and he would prove massively important in the upcoming war. Nice. Creed prepared Cute the defenses, bank. called for Space Marine reinforcements, and sent Kazarkin teams directly into the Eye of Terror in hopes of getting some intel on the upcoming assaults. Wait, on the other side, you send, them, you send people into hell? God the damn it. War, Abaddon and the Chaos Heralds are making big strides. Wait, Typhus wait, 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 wait. Imagine being sent to scout. Where are you scouting? Hell. You're going to hell. The were scout. wreaking havoc and the Night Lords were doing Ugh. raids across the sector. Ooh. Abaddon himself managed to capture two Blackstone Fortresses. Now this is really important because Blackstone Fortresses were massive Elder Warships made in ancient times as a failsafe against the Catan Reawakening. As such, God these planets were near planet sized mega weapons that, when fully activated, could break the barrier between the warp and real space by shooting a beam that would make the Death Star look like a nerf gun. Oh, so shit. Abaddon having two under his control would prove to be a major- Oh, I think I remember this. He ran them into the planet or some shit. I remember watching this on another video Shoot. again. And so finally, after all the pre-gaming, Abaddon Sheesh. finally launched his attack on Cadia proper. He opened with a humongoid orbital bombardment and sent, in technical terms, a buttload of Chaos Space <laughs> Marines, Demons, and Titans to assault the Wait, planet. Wait, there is Chaos Titans? I mean, I, I guess it makes sense that there would be. And the Space Wolves, though, Fuck, the Cadians fought hard against the Legions. The Cadians held the Force of Chaos in a deadly stalemate, which, nice, again, goes to I show guess. just how badass the Guard Boys really are, and in orbit, the Imperial Navy... Yeah, usually the Guards are dog shit, but these dudes, they know what's up. He was also getting some dubs, as they managed to drive Abaddon's forces back into the Cadian. This naval nice. victory broke the Chaos blockade and opened the way for reinforcements, including the entirety of the legendary Battlefleet Gothic. However, Battle the Imperials Gothic. reallocating like the their game? defenses to Cadia allowed Chaos forces to attack other Imperial worlds. On these worlds, everyone's favorite little guy, Erebus, summoned warp storms Erebus. and demons. As if the forces of hell weren't enough, things were made worse by the encroaching Tyranid and Orc forces joining in on the fray. What the fuck? Is everybody coming to gangbang uh, Cadia? Along with rumors of what is this? Primarch showing up. Oh However, my despite god, the actual gangbang. Odds, what are the so, Along with the White Scars. And eventually more the White Scars arrived, They're including dope the Blood Angels, the Dark Angels, Black Templars, and Imperial Fists. Damn. Since there were so many best-selling chapters and named Space Marines, it looked as though Abaddon's Crusade would fail yet again. What? After many victories, the Imperial forces thought the worst was behind them, and they even made plans for victory parties. However, <laughs> everyone knows it's unwise to emote before you secure the victory, yes. and unfortunately for Cadia, the worst was yet to come. Up in the skies, the space chat from earlier, Admiral Corrin detected a large Corrin. chaos armada led by the Blackstone Fortress, the Will of Eternity, oh, shit. that was commanded by Abaddon himself. The, the Imperial fleet was quickly destroyed. Are those things destructible? Have they been destroyed? Wait, and the Ever? chaos forces encroached on Cadia. Shit. Knowing something was awry, Kree tried to unify the Imperial forces into a more coherent army that could better repel the heretics. But? However, he was ultimately unsuccessful as the other Imperials all had their own agendas and remained somewhat disjointed. Not being able to pull from the anime power of friendship would prove to be a huge detriment to the Imperials in the upcoming battles. But it wasn't all doomed no and gloom, there were still Imperial victories, and even more named characters showed up to help out. Oh, Belisarius nice. Call was the aid of the Harlequins, oh. activated even more pylons, Wait. while Saint Celestine... Harlequins, those are, uh, uh, Dark Kelda, right? Like, Black Kells? The hell are they doing? What? Why is everybody here? battlefields and wrecked shit. 
Even the Necrons joined in as Trace and the what? Infinite was impressed by the huge steel balls of the Cadian, since they reminded him of his own steel balls when they weren't literal steel balls. Ah. So the Necrons, they secretly used death marks. Okay, so the only people we don't have are the Tau, I think. To aid the Cadians. Nice. While things were looking a bit up, Creed commanded a space marine force to assault the Will of Eternity directly, and the marines were able to penetrate the fortress, Actual however, dog they were face? unable to kill Abaddon. Planet side, the Chaos forces made their way to the critical Khazar Craft. These Khazar Chaos Kraft. forces were making advances, Ooh. but they were mostly held back by the Khazarkin, who were killing space marines at an impressive rate considering they're just regular humans. Nice. After much bloodshed, the Chaos... They're not regular humans, they're the humans. Chaos Commander, Urkrathos, ascended to demonhood and made it to the Nola Raid that was holding back further demonic incursion. However, Saint Celestine emerged to engage the Demon Prince in an epic duel and banished him. Nice! But before banishment, Earth Rakos was able to destroy the Nola Ray, which allowed Abaddon to finally shoot Shit. his Blackstone Fortress Kamehameha. Luckily for the Imperials, though, before Abaddon could activate his Rage Art, it was revealed that a large Space Wolf force remained hidden on the Blackstone Fortress, and they Ooh. launched a massive counterattack within the ship itself. Okay. Then, to make things worse on Abby's big day, the Legion of the Damned Marines manifested, and they helped the Space Wolf Legion destroy... Legion of the Damned? Wait, who are the... Oh, I don't remember anything about these guys. Who are these guys? His Chaos Forces. All would have been lost for the Chaos Legion Forces the if not for Abaddon arriving in his massive plot armor and pushing God back damn, the Wolves and the Damned. Boy. However, once again, Abaddon's parade was rained on when he realized, it's a trap! And the Imperial Fist Fortress Monastery, the Phalanx, showed up to blow its load nice. on the Will of Eternity, disabling Abaddon's Was it a big load? On trump card. Abaddon teleported away but like little nerd, and the Imperials were ah, once again able to regroup and prepare to counterattack. In their desperations, the Imperials officially allied with Trazen the Infinite, so Call and his new skeleton mm. buddy plan to amplify the pylons in order to push back the chaotic forces. Oh, I never thought about this, but what do these guys, the religious dudes, think about the Necron? Because Necron are like, like, they're scientific motherfuckers, and these guys worship that. What do they think so, about it? Unfortunately for them, while they were strategizing, Abaddon found their location, and he personally came to his to put see? an end to the Imperials. What the fuck? Breaking through the fences, okay, those guys he approached Creed and Jaren Kel. Kel sacrificed himself to allow Creed oh, to escape. No Kel. And Kel's death was actually pretty badass, as he was shit-talking Abaddon until the very end, <laughs> saying how he's a poo-poo loser guy who needs to yeah, use god fuck. weapons to well, kill mere humans, that. and this and that. I will kill all of your friends. I will destroy your planet. On the Cadia 14th try, will fall. You are a disgraced godsman. How can you hope to stop me and my armies? Spin on him. <laughs> yes! Ooh, <laughs> right in the mouth? Let's go! After killing the colors, Yo, that was a crazy made face. his way to Colin Trazen. <laughs> but before he could fight the science nerds, Kree came back for revenge with a bunch of Australians. And at the same time, Trazen opened his Tesseracts to summon an army of his Tesseracts? Pokemon. Tesseracts? Trazen's army was led by a Heresiera named Ultramarine, Heresiera. so you know he was bringing the big guns. After getting his chick kicked in by the Vostroyans, Kazarkin, Custodes, Space Marines, and Trazen's living funk. Wait, the Custodes did something on the offense? They left Earth? What the hell? And what did they do that? Pops, Abaddon teleported away yet again after Celestine landed a decisive blow okay, and the Cadian pylons were about How many to be times? reactivated. Ugh, they keep on stopping me! Final How can I kill 21? this stupid planet? Uh, um, sir, excuse me. Um, I, I have looked into the archives and I, I found a tactic that some villains pulled in the ancient time of September 11th. Hey, yo. Yeah, so Abaddon basically <laughs> used his Blackstone Fortress to pull a 9-11 on Cadia. He used his flagship to push the Blackstone Fortress into the planet, and the impact caused okay. massive destruction. Okay, I thought at this point, our dudes, the good dudes, had air superiority here. I thought they fucked this shit up. What happened? And the Imperial I'm missing vital information. The impact also destroyed many of the How pylons, they allowed to so do the this warp shit? was able to fully Aww. envelop the doomed planet. Oh. Creed valiantly held the line with his personal regiment so that as many Cadians as possible could escape. So at this point, they were in hell. The planet was in hell. Escape. Celestine was super powered from all the warp energy and was wrecking shit per usual. And Angel even Wifel? the Eldar stepped in using the webway and helped some Imperials, including Call right. and Inquisitor Greyfax, escape the forces of the Black Legion. But in the end... Straight up, everybody's on this planet. Everybody wants... And piece, Abaddon I guess. was finally successful, and Fucking Cadia Abaddon. had tragically fallen. Piece now that Cadia was lost, the Eye of Terror was able to widen, and it tore the galaxy asunder with the Great Rift. This divided the, the galaxy into rift. the Imperium, and the more shitty Imperium, the Imperium Nihilus. <laughs> the 13th Black Crusade launched the Imperium into an Age of Darkness. But all was not lost for the Imperium. Shortly after the fall of Cadia, Call, Greyfax, Celestine, and Yvrain were able to resurrect Primarch Rubuti Gilliman. Gilliman oh, yeah. authorized Primaris and led. Thank you, clapped Elder Cheeks, right? No, Elder? Was it Elder? 
elf chiefs. The Indominus Crusades to reclaim a lot of lost territory, I've seen about especially it. in the Imperium Nihilus. As for the Cadians, around 3 million escaped off planet, and Kree oh. was taken by Trazen as a party favor. The 3 million Cadians. What? With wait, 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 wait. Boss, what? Cadians who couldn't make it to their home world began to repopulate on New Worlds. Oh, nice. And the Cadian culture remained strong. Cadian sex. Additionally, Let's since go. the Cadians were such a respected and efficient regiment, many Number other guard one. regiments Number had already one. adopted much of their culture and tactics for themselves. Good. Guardsmen across the galaxy used Cadian equipment and doctrines. So, while their home may be lost, the culture would never truly die. In that, that way, nice. it's true that the planet broke before the guard did. And Cadia truly stands. And when but the guard never broke, though. With that, that's the fall of Cadia. Thank you, everyone who watched this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Yeah. The fall of Cadia was one of the most crucial and epic moments in 40K. I really enjoyed researching and making this video. And I'd also like to thank anyone who's recently subscribed. Nice. I didn't think we would hit 100 so quickly, let alone... Yeah, we hit 100 for sure, brother. Well, this was fun. This was one of the few... Uh... Warhammer 40k videos that I can find that are not uh, like hour and a half long of lore. So if you have any other videos that are kind of like this, that focus on vital points and they are not like 13 hours long, hit me up. I'm interested. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Now we know what happened exactly to Kadia. Yeah, everybody gangbang the planet, unfortunate. Or well, gangbang to save it. Technically still a gangbang. Anyway, bye everybody. <laughs>